chaos in the moments before Shreen Dewani's arrival. Cameramen banned from the courthouse surge in, desperate for a shot of the Bristol millionaire. But they're ordered out by security. Dewani's covert overnight flight from Bristol only increased interest in this case, which has electrified South Africa. As he arrived amid high security, police were keen to keep Shreen Dewani out of sight. A paparazzi photographer pictured Shreen Dewani before he appeared, though. It was just a short hearing, lasting less than a quarter of an hour. When Shreen Dewani appeared in court, he was wearing a dark suit and a black tie. He looked thinner than in previous court appearances when we've seen him, his hair a lot greyer. He appeared nervous and distracted. He spoke only to confirm that he understood what was being said in court. Shreen Dewani denies any part in a plot to kill his bride, Annie. They were in Cape Town in November 2010 for their honeymoon. Three men have been convicted for her murder, but they say Annie's husband hired them. And their evidence is the reason police were so keen to get Shreen Dewani back to Cape Town. It has been our feeling that um, the case has not been uh, finalised until uh, Mr Dewani can be extradited to South Africa. It has been a, a long battle by the Department of Justice to extradite uh, Mr Diwani uh, over three years. We already have uh, three suspects who are <coughs> serving a jail term. Shreen Diwani was remanded in custody here to Falkenberg Psychiatric Hospital. He made no application for bail and he will remain here in a single cell until his next court appearance on May the 12th. On the 12th of May, he will then come back to court and of course, whilst he's, he's, he's in the care of the doctors and the nurses, they will be able to uh, give us more information in terms of his health and we'll be able to make uh, uh, you know, a, a decision going forward from there on. Tonight, in a statement, Mr Dewani's family said, Shreen remains committed to proving his innocence in a court of law and uncovering the truth behind his wife's murder. We look forward to his health improving, his name being cleared and there being an end to this legal trauma for all involved. Tonight, as Shreen Dewani spends his first night in Falkenberg, preparations are being made for his trial. The Bristolian's future and the facts of this mysterious case will be decided in Court 1 of this High Court in the months to come. Robert Murphy, ITV News, Cape Town.